Welcome to An Evening with Jennifer Garner. Hi, I'm Monica Peterson. Later on, we'll give you a special look at my new Disney movie, The Odd Life of Timothy Green, in theaters August 15th. So I host the HGTV Green Home Giveaway, and we have millions and millions of entries, yet people are still in shock when I show up at their door. How does your character react to the unexpected? Hi. A mixture of panic, <laughs> happiness, and trying to put a veneer of calm over all of it. See for us? Mom. Dad. You rock, buddy. Keep watching HGTV tonight for a special look at the odd life of Timothy Green. Welcome to Cuba Island, South Carolina, home to this year's HGTV Dream Home 2013. Year after year, one lucky person has been surprised with the good news. Hi! You are the winner of the HGTV Dream Home! And this year, we're planning something really big. There's cash, a car, and a beautiful low country retreat. It's a grand prize package worth over $2 million, and it's all going to one lucky person. The winner of the HGTV Dream Home gets a once-in-a-lifetime surprise. And we call it an ambush because that's exactly what it is. And we go in, we surprise them, we ambush them. Oh! There have been so many great moments so far, and I can't wait to see how this year's winner is going to react. Hi there! It's okay. Hi! <laughs> Hi, oh my Carol God. Simpson! Hi. Congratulations! You have won the HGTV Dream Home in Cuba. Oh my God. It's okay. Oh, congratulations! <laughs> and, uh, how do you feel? It's hard to describe. How do you feel? I'll just give you one word. Oh. <laughs> Uh, happy? Happy? <laughs> I think Carol was in shock. You know, when you're right next to somebody and you're delivering that news to them, you just feel it. Oh my okay, God. Carol, I have to tell you, out of over 77 million entries, you have won. Oh, my God. <laughs> Joining us on the panel this week is our friend and colleague. Please welcome Miss Monica Peterson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hi, designers. <laughs> it has been such a pleasure to see what all of you have come up with. Today on an all-new Stephen and Chris, we're getting into the holiday spirit. We'll tell you everything you need to throw a perfect cocktail party. So amazing. The cover's amazing. The content's amazing. I love it because it looks like a society book that's yeah. easy and inexpensive to do. Yes, easy and inexpensive. So that's where was it. your inspiration? Um, you know, I, I've always had a huge passion for tablescapes. I mean, okay. I'm in interior design, and you know, we all know, like, whether you're doing your home or your table, it's really the same design principles. Um, but I grew up with a mom that was very crafty, and we made a big deal about occasions, and it was time to do a book in oh, my career. Fantastic. And I was like, you know what, I want to do something. When you do a book, you know, you dive in. I want to do something I really love. Your so. mom is in the audience. Can we say she hi is. to mom? Hi, mom. Where's mom? <laughs> Who's waving, mom? Hi, mom. <laughs> How are you? Uh -huh. Give us a wave. There she is. There's our mom. <laughs> We brought in event planner Monica Peterson to help plan the perfect second proposal. Please welcome Monica. Hi, Monica. Now, what are really the most common mistakes that men make when they're proposing? Um, a, a few of the most common mistakes, and I think they relate to this, is you just didn't put enough time into it when it comes to planning. You really want to plan it out. I mean, this is your big moment. This becomes, this story becomes part of your life together, yeah. you know, how you show your love. So you want to put a lot of planning into it. And next, think about the details. I mean, special events, special nights, you know, are, are made up of beautiful details. Just like you want to tell the detail of the night over and over. So really pay attention to that. And, you know, third, um, surprise. The element of surprise really you know it takes our breath away women we love romance and even if something goes wrong um, we just want to know that you really made the effort you know wow. it makes us feel special better yeah I mean right. you know when we're selling staging is about you know putting our best foot forward for that buyer and when it's about living in our house you know we're staging it to live so we want to make our spaces feel great right. we want to make them feel open and I think staging for ourselves Staging to live is even more important than yeah. staging to sell. And a, lot you know? of people, a lot of people just don't know sort of what to do or what they can do with a budget, but you're about to show us some pretty cheap, easy ways that you can really do some transformations. Yeah. So we're going to take a look at some before and after photos. These are some truly amazing transformations. I know our real estate expert is concerned that this is a garden unit, and garden units aren't that appealing to buyers. Mm, we heard. You heard. Mm -hmm. You okay? Yeah. Oh, we're good. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we made it through. Phew! 
<laughs> All right. Well, we can make some simple changes that are going to take the garden out of the unit. All right, so this is the built-in. Yeah. We'll simply connect a couple of pre-assembled bookcases. But what I want you to do is I want you to embellish and customize this so it doesn't look so storable. OK, here's the plan. I want this wall painted first. It's going to need two coats. And then I immediately want those bookcases going up. Can you just give us a little catwalk? Yes, just I can. A little, just yes, a little three-point mm -hmm. turn. Yes, I can. Would be lovely, yeah. Yeah. Just a little three-point turn. OK, three-point turn. Here we go. Oh, Got yeah. It? Look at her go. So to make this surprise happen, we called on Monica Peterson from HGTV, and she knew exactly what to do. Take a look at this. Well, all right, Elise, we're going to take this off. Ready? What do you think? Ah! <laughs> JC Penny donated the furniture. All of the building materials came from Lowe's, and our friends at HGTV brought in all the manpower. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, you need to cut your ribbon. That is awesome. <laughs> you guys rock. These shows, like your show, mm -hmm. the things are done in like, uh, you know, 30, 60 minutes. When we come in and we do our show, we actually take a week. I mean, the show is a half an hour, but what a lot of people don't see is it's, it's a harried situation. When you're mm -hmm. remodeling your house, it is very stressful.